Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Benny, a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me and Ben, or rather Ben or me. I've decided to change up the running order, because blatantly, Ben or ought to go first, if I'm talking about me and Ben, or because he's the one that does actually, you know, most of the actual work. We're here at Labyrinthium. <laughs> I can't remember anything about Labyrinthium. It's quite big, that much is clear, but I don't actually remember anything else about this place. So, yeah, there's clearly something going on over there. The actual quest marker's over there, so let's get exploring. I mean, I can see there's clearly going to be some frost trolls. We've killed one already, but I think we're okay for now, because, yeah, with Benor and with Stormageddon with me, we should be more or less fine. Yeah, I remember this place. Let's, like... Vaguely. This is kind of what my knowledge of Skyrim's like. I just kind of vaguely remember some bits and pieces. So, uh, yeah, there's these, these little huts here. But I can't remember if they actually do anything. Whether they were once, like, living quarters, I guess? I'm not sure. And then, yeah, steps here to get us up on top of the wall. Which is probably a good place to start off with. But, ooh. Ooh, nice and on top of the dragony bits here. Ooh, nice view. Nice view for it. Would be if it was a nicer day, bloody Skyrim weather. I mean, this is like an excellent point to kind of, you know, get a little viewers to what's going on in the world. So, uh, something over there. Well, technically, that's the location I've already found. Clearly, there's something in that direction. Something more in this direction is... Oh! Yep, I see another frost troll over there. Well, that's good. That's good, because from up here, we'll be in a lovely position to potentially, like, jump down on it from above. Ah, you see... Been thinking about this. Plus, this is towards whatever this thing over here is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. There we go. He's just randomly <laughs> sneaking and jumping. Got myself some sneak there. Sneak. Easiest skill in the world to level up is sneak. It's marvellous. Uh, yeah, back to hidden. If I just kind of move around like here, and then basically just kind of step down again. Yeah, I think you can just basically grind sneak like that. <laughs> sneak is such a ridiculously easy skill to grind. Now I just hold still. I'll go back to hidden in a second, because he won't find me. And then that counts towards building up my sneak again. It's just, uh, yeah, ridiculous how easy it is. Right, charge this up. He's coming this way. Boom, put you in the way. So he's going to struggle. Ben Orr's up front. Lovely. And so Stormy. And Stormy, do a little clap, please. Thank you. Oh, actually, hang on. No, 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 no. Wait, what have I actually got to say as my shout right now? Oh, good. Unrelenting force. I'm glad about that. Right, round the side, round the side, round the side. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, good. How's his health doing, by the way? How's his health? Apparently he's alright. Apparently he's okay. No, I think he might have died. He might have died. I think just like, yeah, the fall damage doesn't catch up with them until they've actually kind of finished falling. So that's him taking care. <laughs> Using unrelenting force to ragdoll someone off the edge of a cliff is literally my favourite thing in the world to do. Right, there's clearly something going on here. Hang on, where's the... Where's the thing that I know's round here somewhere? Well, one, good old bear. Oh, no, not a barrel, just a basic gun. Well, that's fine. That means I can loot without hesitation. But yeah, we've got, oh, doors. Random doors here. For Lost, ooh, Lost Valkyg. What exactly is that? Also, I should kind of give props to Benor, who's currently using a two-handed weapon, but is also holding a torch at the same time. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be doing that, but well done for lighting up the way. So yeah, we've got something that isn't even marked here. Lost Valkyg. Um, but there's clearly something marked up in this direction. What is this one going to be in that case? Maybe this is why. Yeah, because the, the Dragon Priest and the Dragon Mast and whatever are all around here somewhere. Hang on, is this discovered Lost Valkyg? I feel like I'd already discovered Lost Valkyg because it was down there, but oh. Dragon bumming around over there. That's fine. I think we can leave you alone for the time being. Because did better just pop into existence down there. I think he might have done. Let's just leave him out of the way for the time being. Let's just check out Lost Valkyg while we're here. Because I have honestly no idea what I'm expecting here. Aside from... What's that? Get some light in here. What am I looking at there? Oh, just some ice. Okay. Ice underground. I can deal with that. And then over here, we've got a window through to something. Oh, you guys are going to wake up. You Actually, can I just summon a thing in that room over there? Can I? Yeah? Maybe? You just go around there. <laughs> Stormy, you just go and take care of anything that might threaten me, all right? Thank you. Oh. Okay, nobody walk on all of the... Never mind. You just walk on all of the things, why don't you? And now they wake up. Now they flipping wake up. Well, all right then. 
All right, pushing some stuff over there. You guys take care of that. What is that? That is just uh, a white. Not so bad, all things considered. And then two more. There we are. That was a good shot. That was a good shot right there. And you're in trouble in a minute. Ben, all this one's now up to you. You guys just wait there. I'm going to see what this thing over here was. This was just... Oh, just a random thing. Fine. Benor, I'll get you. I think you've already taken care of him. All right. Thank you, Benor. Yeah, I knew those guys were going to wake up. It's just, yeah, mysteriously, just, uh, you know, disturbing them with Stormy here didn't actually do the job. I needed to actually do something else. All right. Fine. Never mind. I think I just heard uh, a tomb snapping open. I suspect you're about to snap open in a second. Who just got up? Someone did. Yep, there we are. Okay, you just get out of the way, please. Benor on the... Ooh, more over there. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Let's just get you done. I'll take care of this one. I got it. I maybe don't have it. Okay, I've possibly... Got... Oh, there's more than I was expecting, actually. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Where are you? Come back. Come back here, you coward. There. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Mace to the face. Lovely. Storm is coming over here. I think they've taken care of that. All right. Good work, everyone. I should really be grinding these guys for souls, by the way, because, yeah, I'm, I'm not really low on souls. I've got loads of really good souls, but I need more just, like, basic crappy souls, because basic crappy souls are just a really good way of getting, like, ooh, that feels like the way to go forward. Hang on, I think there might be more of this. Guys, guys, get out of, get out of, get, get out of, okay, fine. I'm going to cast a new one of you over there to get rid of you to allow me to get through the door. Yeah, I thought there was something else around here. Uh, is there anything through here? Ooh. This might be... Ah! That might be... I was about to say that might be a Skyrim door. But no, not if the lever's this side, it's not. This is just a... Ooh. Okay. What's this? Ah, a thing! Skill book, sadly, I've already read. Very sad indeed. Help myself to a long fin, though. Literally, I will eat that right now. Marvellous. Guess I'll eat that too. Learn some more stuff. And for some reason, just a skeleton tied to a wall. All right, then. Random alchemy lab. May as well blend some stuff if I'm carrying anything heavy. Just basically make the fortify stuff. Always make the fortify stuff. That's the more valuable. Or just create a ton of restore health potions. Restore health potions are fine as well. Ooh, Daedra heart. That feels like a inefficient use for a Daedra heart, but never mind. Maybe we'll just keep that. So, got a, yeah, blatantly a trap that potentially killed you. Just step there doesn't actually open the gate. Can the gate be... Okay, it's just apprentice locks. That's fine then. Okay, I'm going to step in here. Neither of you follow me because I don't want you to step on the plate. Okay, I think I stepped on the plate. Never mind. No offense, there's nothing here but a second horned helmet. I've seen two of those so far. It's weirdly common down here, in fact. Yeah, here we go. We've got more. Oh. Yeah. Any more stuff down here? Hello over there, by the way. And... You haven't seen me yet. That's impressive. If you'd like to walk away, I will just get a sneak attack on you. <laughs> I'll gladly do that. Want to walk away? Want to walk away? Or just let me... Oh, oh. You know what? Never mind. Boom! And screw you. You're just a base one. Ooh, one-shotting you. Very, very nice indeed. Right, guys. Go murder. Let's just get some light going on here so I can see what's going on. There's you over there. Ooh, a death lord with a bow. That could be uh, difficult. Right, guys. Go kill for me. And anyone interested in doing that? Anyone interested in going down there? There's clearly, I think the way you're supposed to go is down here. Yep, there you go. I think they figured it out. I think they've got it. They might have it. Oh, blimey. Okay, that wasn't death. That was just a little animation and it has not disarmed me. He's got Fusro Dad, damn it. Right. Uh, okay, good. Benor's now on him. Benor now needs to basically be supported. Now, heal other is definitely the more efficient way to go, and yeah, it's safe when I'm taking on uh, the Death Lord, because I know for a fact it can't actually heal him. It's physically impossible to do so. In which case, nice flipping rally for Benor, and then it just basically hit him. There we go. And now you will slowly go down. And then we can also just knock him down at the same time. Everyone can just go over to him, get a few easy swings in. Lovely. And now I can just keep 
Benor nice and healed up. Very good. Just keep him nice and rallied. Very good. Illusion keeps going up at the same time. I think the Atronach wore off, so let's just get Stormy back in the fight. So, one Stormy for you. Lovely. And then the two of them together. Now you're down here. He can actually do his big kind of smash attacks and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. This is going much, much better. How are you? You are... Oh, no. You are... Stag oh, no. No, 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 no. He does have the disarm thing. I hate the disarm thing. It's annoying. Right. Heal up Benner a bit more. And come on. Healing. And now just go for a couple of hits. Get my one-handed up. And I get the killing blow. Lovely. Now... Where did you drop your axe? There it is. Apparently you can't pick it up. I need to pick it up and give it back to him. Dear, oh dear. There you go, Benor. Now try not to lose it this time. So, ebony arrows. Lovely. Gold. And ooh, an ebony bow. Oh, I wish I was using bows, but I'm not. Petty soul gem. Vigorous healing. Oh, I should have got the soul trap on him. I completely forgot I was supposed to be doing that. Right, there's a nice big... um. Yeah, nice big hole down here. I could drop down there, but let's just check what's going on back here before we drop down. No, nothing in it. Well, aside from one very convenient chest, hide armor, orcish helmet. I'll take that just to sell it, to be honest. Though, in all fairness, what I could do with that as well is I could actually enchant that properly and give it to uh, to Benor. Because one's got the ebony helmet right now. Right now, it's just got an enchantment on it for bows. Which isn't very useful. Now, Benor. Benor, Benor, Benor. The problem we've got here is if I jump down here, you're not going to follow me, are you? So, um, come over here, Benor. Benor, come over here. Yeah, there we are. You just stay... No, no, no. Benor, 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 Benor. Over, over, over here. Right round here, please. Okay. Yep, I want you to be right next to the pit. Now, you just stay there. Stay there. Stay Right where you are. Lovely. There we go. And I've pushed him too far. Benor, I need you to drop into the pit. Can you please drop it at... Okay. Can we just basically just push Benor straight into the pit, Benor? Benor. Ben. Ben. ben, ben no, Benor. Ben. Benor? Okay, Benor's over there now. Benor, okay. Maybe just Foose Row would be enough. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's fallen onto that thing. Okay, well, it, he'll find his way down. He'll find his way down to, to here, then to... Ow! Bloody... Oh, no! Benno! 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 Find your way down faster! Right, Stormy, keep me alive until he does. Thank you. Right, we've got ourselves a death lord. Benno may or may not be coming to help. Benno is... No, Benno's just stuck on a thing. Oh, that's just marvellous. Good, good, good. Now, bare minimum, I'm hoping I can get some hits in at the... Oh, yeah. I can get some really good hits on the Death Lord. You just keep him busy. Oh, no, 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 no! Bloody hell. Right. I need Benor to fall down that pit. Yeah, okay. Right. So, Benor is now one stage down. Again. One needs to just... Okay, we've woken up the thing. <laughs> and now just needs to recharge. And then if I could just hit Benor with a full throw da about there... He should smack into the wall and then fall straight down. But in like a good friendly way. In a good friendly way. And I'm going to rally him first. So you like, he's ready. So sure, technically I am throwing him down there. So yeah, like that. Lovely. Okay, now. There we go. Okay, good. We got it. Go, Ben or go. Okay, now the whole team's here. We should be fine. Benor's got... Oh, Benor's really badly injured. How did... Oh, probably because I pushed him down a pit, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, so let's get some heal other and healing handsome. So just... A f oh, yeah, damage over time. Uh, healing over time on him. No, Benor. Benor. But no, charge. There we go. Benor. Just... There we go. There we go. Heal other, and now just healing hands over time as well. I've kind of used all my magic there, but that's fine. Okay, need to buy some time. Buy some time for Benor to recover. And I'm not ready to go with the food yet, unfortunately. Benor, just keep Benor alive as far as we can. Benor, 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 Benor. Can we do a charge that? Yes, we can. Good. Got a heal other on Benor. Get that candlelight back on, because I can't see what's going on. There we go. And there we go. Got you down. And now we can get a couple of hits in. And now back away again. Benor's now doing good work, right? Yeah, Benor's now 
fine. Lovely. Another Death Lord goes down. Bit tougher that time, but we're still okay. We have on Ebony Warhammer. Nice, but I think I prefer the... Benor. Benor, did you lose your axe again? Because if so, there it is. There it is. We're not leaving that behind. Is there a mod that I can use to make my companions pick up weapons that they've actually lost after a battle? Like, just go and find them again? Because that'd be really useful. Ah, we've got a chest hidden up top here. Hang on. Just 56 gold. Not that useful, but yeah, we are deep into Lost Valkyg now. Right, open. Oh, Skyrim. Oh, wait, is this going to be the back door I saw earlier? Is that literally it? Was that everything? That felt like a really, really small area. This is... Yes! Yes, indeed. That's the same area I saw earlier. Okay. That's a very small little dungeon then, but all right, fine, what have you. So, okay. Elsewhere in Labyrinth. By the way, is the dragon gone? Yeah, I think that dragon's naffed off now. So, blatantly, I'm supposed to ultimately be going over to... Yeah, that area over there. But there's also clearly something going on over here, behind a frost troll. So, hang on. Yes, hello over there. Hello, 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 hello. St no, Stormy. Stormy. There we go. Everyone get involved, please. And just get you down. And just get a couple of hits in on you. Nice. And now back off, please. Benor. Where's Benor going to Benor. Ben oh, there he is. He decided to go up there. Benor, why are you running away? Just attack the frost troll, please. Thank you. Lovely. There we go. Nice and simple. Uh, there's a big... There's a big... Oh, there's a second one. Oh, good. I'm glad someone noticed that because I didn't. Uh, right. Get another Stormy out for you. Kind of pile on him. Oh, yeah. Frost trolls. Not as dangerous as they used to be. Damn it. Lovely. Yeah, there's a big burial mound here. One of the big, I assume, dragon burial mounds. Unless this one does something. Oh, no. Well, this one does something, well, appears to be full of skeletons. Okay. Is there a yes? Right. We've got a way into here. There's just a little thing. Ah, I found what I was looking for. The dragon mass, the dragon priests, all of that good stuff. Yes. This is all well. I've got a single mask yet. I will actually be getting one fairly soon. And we have got ourselves here a hide thugs missive. All right. I have a little Luxy here. It seemed like an easy enough job. Groz and me done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wants bodyguards for a trip to the mountains. Fine, easy clink for us. He goes on about this twice forsaken mask of his the whole way, of course. Got a pretty good laugh when Gross snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Not smart out here on your own. He realised that pretty fast and shut up about not paying. Without so much as a warning, poof, he puts on the mask and vanishes. Could have put my hand on his throat one moment. Next, he's not so much as thin air. After a while, we didn't know what to do. Gross picks her gear up to head home. When he puffs back, that mask in his hand. Begs us not to leave, says he needs us to wait, this is what he's paying us for. Then he puts the mask back on his sorry face and he's gone again. I've seen cloaks do invisibility before. A few swings of my fist prove he wasn't pulling that one. Nothing there to hit. He shows up again, tells us he just needs more time, has to figure out something about the other masks and vanishes again. That was yesterday. I'm done with twiddling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving come sunrise. If he shows up again, I promise Azura I'm putting this dagger through his chest to keep him in one place. We'll pull more loot off him dead than he could have paid alive, but not the mask. That cursed thing can stay and rot with him and the trolls right here. Now, there's a guy with a dagger right in his chest. And there's a wooden mask. Okay. An invisib... I don't remember that thing being anything like an invisibility mask or anything. Hang on, what does it actually do? I need to find a good shop, by the way. I'm carrying around loads of charmed jewellery. So, wooden mask hums with an unfamiliar energy. If I put it on, then I'm... No, very much still... Oh, all right, never mind. I completely forgotten about this. I think I've travelled, presumably, back in time. I would guess, yes. And then we've got ourselves all of the bus, yeah, for all of the masks to be put into. Ah, Crotus, I think I've run into you already. You're the guy at Shearpoint, who obviously I couldn't kill last time. But I can't leave this room. However, I can loot it, which is fun. Uh, empty. Empty, though. 
could I use this place as- Could I use this place as a storeroom I could warp to any time I wanted to? Ooh, that would be interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true, but maybe. Right, probably. We want to, yeah, take off the mask in that case. I'd completely forgotten that was a thing. Take that off. And warp. Hopefully, back to where I was. Uh, sorry about that, Benno. You must have been worried. He doesn't have worried in the slightest, bastard. Right. Keep that, and yeah, remember, we might well need that later. So get all the Dragon Priest masks, go there, shove them in there, and I can't remember what that does, if anything. I'm assuming something, but I have no bloody clue. <laughs> no clue. I remember some of the masks are really, really good, and I want to get my hands on them, because they're really, really damn powerful. But I honestly can't remember, like, what actually happens if you just actually, uh bother filling that thing out, whether the reward is worth giving up all the masks, or whether you can take the mask back. I assume you can take the mask back after you're done. Like, that would make sense. Right. Up to the top here, then, because now I want to figure out, yeah, before we go to where the quest actually says to go, I want to explore everything else first. So we found a little mini dungeon. We found where the masks are. And now we've just got a big bit over here that might be yet yeah, another little side bit of labyrinthium. Except this time, actually, it feels like we're leaving Labyrinthian. This feels like it just comes out. Okay, so there's actually an easier approach. There's a different approach coming in to the west. Hang on, where am I on the map right now? So this is... Ah, okay. Fine. So that would have been an easier approach anyway, to be honest. Yeah, if you just come from the south. That's Silent Moon's camp. That's really close by. So yeah, you can just walk here pretty damn easily. Fine. So yeah, that's a much, much easier approach if you want to get into Labyrinthium, approaching from the south and the north. Fine, I was mistaken, I just misread my map. So in which case, I have a feeling there might be a bit more here than I've actually seen so far, but that's all I can see at a glance. So how about, unless this is, no, there's no door this side. The door the other side led into Los Valkyg, but uh, no, I don't see any more of that. In which case, yeah, Let's head over to where the quest marker actually... That was a bit of a big... Nope, never mind. That was a fine drop. That was okay. Let's head over to, yeah, where the quest is telling me to go at this point. Probably might be another frost troll or two, but I think we're under control at the minute. Ah, meanwhile, over there, that dragon's still flipping around, but that's fine. We can just completely ignore that. I think we're just heading straight inside. I think that might be... Pretty sure I just saw another frost troll up there. I just saw a little peak of something white. I saw... No, there's... Ah! A ghost! Ah, you are the ghost or the memory of the headmaster, aren't you? Hello. Yes, Savos Aaron. Come on, we're finally here. Let's not waste any more time. Are we truly sure this is a good idea? We'll be back at the college before anyone even knows we're gone. <laughs> you would care about that, since you're the Archmage's favorite. Don't forget, this whole idea was us to begin with. Let's just get inside. See what's in there. Okay. Yes, I remember this. Memories from the Headmaster's past. His, uh... A past he has good reason to be ashamed of. Potentially. Right. In we go. To Labyrinthium. Ooh, nice door. Nice ceremonial door. Can we activate it? How do we activate it? Ah, yes, of course. The thing that was given to us. Marvellous. So, enter Labyrinthium. Gotta find ourselves that staff. Candlelight goes up. Let's have a little oopsie. So we've got ourselves... Ah! Big number of skeletons here. Very big number of skeletons. I wonder if I could use the ritual to bring every single one of these guys back. <laughs> That'd be funny, but unfortunately none of them actually are armed. So even if I could, it would not actually do me that much good. I can't believe we're doing this. Can you imagine the looks on their faces when we come back? You keep talking like you're sure we'll find something useful in here. Given the history of this place, it's more than likely there's still some amount of power here. Enchanted weapons, tomes of ancient knowledge, Shalador secrets themselves. Who knows what we could find? And what if, what if there are things guarding this place? Against six college-trained mages? I think we'll be fine. Oh dear. Pride, pride, arrogance, and hubris never ends well for anyone involved. Nice bucket. Ooh, water breathing. That's a really damn useful spell. Yeah. Okay, that's, you know what? That might be the most useful thing I actually pick up here. It would be nice to have water breathing. What's the actual cost of that, by the way? Hang on, skip down to that little bit there. Only 185. 
Quite frankly, I will take it. I'm assuming that's, uh... That's alteration, right? Yeah, that's alteration. That's absolutely 100% fine. I can easily afford that. Right, well now, no need to waste time with the flipping water breathing potions anymore. Lovely. So, crack open the doors. Only a matter of time before we start running into something that wants to murder me. Presumably. Though, actually, yeah, because there's a fair bit of narrative here with all the memories as well, there's a chance maybe there'll be a bit less fighting and a bit more story going on. So, that'd be nice. Nice break there. Down we go. Any sign of... No, nothing that's even close to detecting me yet. I'm guessing. More memories. No, hang on. We've got ourselves... A very, very large number of skeletons. Okay. Skeletons. I can handle skeletons. Skeletons are fine. The problem is I can't get into the skeletons. Uh, hang on, need to find a lever or something. Here we are. All right, Benno. Benno, go get them. All right, here we go. Let's bring it on. Benno, add. No. Oh, no, no, sorry. You need me to wolf into here, don't you? Yes, that would make sense. Or, you know what, you guys, come over here. Come and join me. There we are. No, guys, guys, I'm literally, I'm right here. I'm right, I'm right flipping here. Come and... Ben or in, okay, Ben or in you go. In you go, Ben or right. There you go. Ooh, you actually managed to flip in resist. Why is Ben or not rushing in? Ben or get Ben or in. In Ben or go. Go, Ben or go to. Oh, yes, there's a dragon's thing here. I'd forgotten about that. Also, they're now just close to the door. At this point, arguably, is the best thing I can do just basically use long range stuff. Because now they're all close to the door. I feel like actually the best thing I can do is I've got anything that's got a good amount of range on it. No, I've not really got anything that's got a big area of effect on it. That's a shame. Yeah, Benno just seems to refuse to want to go through. Oh, maybe he wants to go in. Oh, blimey. Someone's got, I think the dragon's got evil breath. Evil dead dragon breath. Fine. Benno, do you want to get in? No, Benno does not want to go in without me. That's lovely of you, Benno, but you're more than welcome to, I promise. Right, just keep Benno healed up as well. Benno, Benno, Benno's got in, he almost got in, Benno's, Benno's, damn it, he got knocked out again. Benno, no Benno, Benno, oh, one of them came in, one of them came in, one basic skeleton is inside, beautiful. Benno can handle that, lovely. He's trying to flipping heal up as well, is that a magic skeleton? Blimey. Okay, new plan, I'm going to do is I'm going to open the thing and then immediately toss a conjured thing through there, beautiful. Let the dragon, yeah, you know what? Let that guy do a whole bunch of damage. Beautiful, he can do a whole bunch of damage to all of these guys. Benor, if you want to get involved, you're more than welcome to. Yeah? Yeah, Benor? You want to go in? Oh, he's the other side! Benor's stuck the other side. Good, 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 good. Right, let's get some healing going on here. Now, I know healing hands is technically not the most efficient way of doing it, but it is a little bit easier to aim, potentially. Also, can I shoot them through the door? I'm not sure I can heal Benor through the door. I don't think I can do it, which... Case Benno, where are you? You resistant healing hands. Benno, Benno. It's fine, we've got this. I don't want to be trapped in the room with... Get something on Benno. I think I missed him. Oh, so he's killed the skeletal dragon. Oh, well, that's good. If he's killed the skeletal dragon, I've got a plan. That's going to be my skeletal dragon now. And... Boom. Gosh darn it. Boo. I wanted that as my friend. Possibly I was just overthinking that room a little bit there. I think possibly, yeah, the skeletal dragon was not as dangerous as I anticipated. But sadly, no, I can't touch you. Well, actually, I can... No, it's not an illusion spell. I can double charge illusion spells for more power. But I can't double charge conjuration for more power. I think you... You can, but you need to go down the actual... There's a specific, like, um, little branch of the tree for that, which I have not taken. So, big, terrifying dragon creature. Fine. And obviously that's where it came out of there. Lovely. Though I do consider it, yes, indeed, a great personal tragedy. I'm not actually allowed to have that dragon on my side now. That is indeed a great sadness. So straight through there to an etched tablet. But first, maybe you have something to say. We have to go back. We can't leave Gerdwin. We barely made it out alive. You want to go back in? It's too late. There isn't enough of him left to go back in after. Gods, what have we done? We can't go back. Might as well go forward. We can still do this. Savos is right. We can make it if we just stay alert. So, one of their number already died. Presumably to the dragon. Possibly... Well, actually, no. It would logically still be, have been a skeletal dragon back then as well. Etch tablet right here. Hail all 
Brave City, Brom, Junar, forever these walls shall stand. May enemies see her majesty, may all quake to behold her. Okay, not sure if I need to remember that, but Brom, Junar, the name of the city of Labyrinthium back in the old days, according to its original population, I would guess. Add into the Labyrinthium Chasm. Right, deeper and deeper. Oh, hello. Hi there. I'm guessing you don't like me very much. Yeah. Hello. And you are... Oh, you actually think I can fight. How, how tough are you? Not that tough. Okay, just a random frost spirit needs to be finished off there. Lovely, Benor does the job. Okay, just a... Uh... Random front. Oh, don't want to stand right there. Bad door. Got it. Okay. Anything I can do here? Spell term. Ah! The game is awarding me flames, which is odd because it's literally impossible for a character in this game not to know flames. It's actually impossible. So the game just wants me to use. I guess this is more of a reminder than anything else. The game wants me to use flames then to break the thing. I just saw a shatter. Yeah, okay, fine. Good, good, good. Yeah, literally every character begins with flames no matter what, so... That just took all my magic away. Whatever that weird whispering is, it actually literally saps my magic, which makes sense. Because we know the Staff of Magnus can absorb magic powers. It's stealing my magic. That's really cool. Right, in which case, you guys, you're coming up here, aren't you? Yep, that's just... Oh, you're just a restless. Okay, fine, hang on. This is a good opportunity for me to finally get some flipping uh, extra... Yeah, some extra soul gems in. So get that out, please. And you nearly dead. Just get the flipping... Oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. There we go. That will be one, I think, lesser soul gem. Somebody's attacking me down there. That is... Oh, one of the bigger lads. One of the bigger lads who's got magic. Right, fine. Right, just get him down over there. Get a couple of hits in before he falls to his... Oh, he's just sliding down into... Is he stuck there? Wait, where are you now? Can you get back out out of it? And can we get down to you either? I think you're just kind of stuck on a ledge. Right, I'm not sure anyone can get to you, and I'm not sure you can get to anyone either. Marvellous. Aside from, unfortunately, you can just use your ice spike on Ben. Or luckily, he barely even flipping notices. Oh, hello! Oh dear, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. I didn't realise it was a bloody second bastard. Right, okay, hang on. Right. There we are. Get a Stormy out over here. Unless you just managed to tele... No, hang on. The one we put down there didn't have a hat on. You've got a hat on, so you must be a different one. Right, get the one handed up there. Lovely. Now, prepare to put A. I don't have enough magic for that, unfortunately. I should do momentarily. Ah, the Stormy's doing some good work down there. There we go. Oh, I really hope I can finish this guy off right now, because I've kind of accidentally fallen into a pit with him. I've kind of accidentally fallen into a pit with him. Okay, just. Whew. Right, can I get down from here, by the way? Oh, possibly. Can I get down from here without... Have you all followed me down here? I really hope you have. Guys, okay, I may need to become ethereal just to survive this bloody fall. Which I think I can just about manage that. I think there's, yeah, if I kind of drop down here, yeah, that's fine. That's, ooh, something's going for me, though. Something bad is going for me. What is, what's taking a shot at me? I think there's one with a bow over there. Hang on. Yeah, if there is, we're okay to just get some healing in quickly now. Actually, no. First things first, priority. Get myself a Stormy right here. Yep, okay. There's definitely one right there. And I'm really, really badly injured. I think it's just using its ice spike ability, actually. Right, you keep him busy. I need to heal. And just quickly get... Oh, yeah, that double charge healing with regeneration and whatever. That's nice. That's good. Right, you're almost... Yeah, you're in trouble. Good. So, almost dead. Go for the one-handed. Finish you off. Lovely. That's another flipping one over there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this room. A lot of stuff. You do not answer. Must I use this guttural language of yours? Okay. We finally got ourselves someone who speaks English. Good, good. Or Nordic or whatever language you're supposed to be, like, speaking right now. I'm not sure. Okay. Anything in here? Looks like just you, to be honest, in which case, just keep on that. Yep, another one of you guys. Uh, get you in the way to block for him. And then in a moment, yeah, Benor, you go up front. I will get behind. We'll knock him into the wall. There's another one right there. Yeah, that's another one right there, but you're just a basic. Oh, that's fine. I can handle you at least. Uh, then you are... Oh, no, no, not me. No, go, to, go for someone who's not me, please. Go for someone who's not me, you bastard. There we go. I think Benor's on it. Yep, that one got finished off. Lovely. Yeah. 
Nothing major here. Yeah, but let's hear more from whoever was speaking to me, and presumably who also, in the past, spoke to the kids, all the other students who Savasaran, I'm half remembering and sort of assuming, managed to get killed here. Also, one common soul gem empty. Lovely. Ah, we've got ourselves a dead Argonian here. I am guessing that you, you just keep waving your tail after you're dead, don't you? Yes, lovely. Stabbed in the back by an ancient Nord greatsword. I'm going to guess that you were Takes in Light, who, by the sound of it, I assume therefore was like their healer. You never want to lose your healer when you're doing a great big dungeon run. That's, that's not a good start at all. Ah, no, I'm speaking to one of the students who's stuck traps down here, cursed forever or something. Fine, I see. So in we go, we've crossed the chasm. That means now we're going into the, ooh, the thoroughfare. That's, that's less intimidating than chasm, that seems fine. So here we go, random gates, lots of monstrosities floating around, lots of, ooh, Thing with the boat, it's a flipping skeleton. Don't panic too much when it's a skeleton, all right? I think we're fine. We may as well just whack you with a big stick. And then we've... Ooh, you're not so dangerous, but... Stagger you, and then just get a couple of follow-up hits in. You'll be fine, lovely. Yeah, we can very easily take care of those guys at this point. Lock picking goes up to 43, just by hacking my way through some nice, simple doors here. Deeper and deeper underground. Can't go that way, though. Uh, hang on, if I can go that way. Oh, nope, we've got more we can do over here. Plenty of chests and rewards and whatnot. Not much, to be honest. Lockpicks and basic bits and pieces. Do you seek to finish that which you could not? Now, I can't remember exactly what the headmaster did when he came here as a kid, but yeah. Clearly it was something bad. He got a lot of kids killed, uh, and whatever it was, he didn't even finish the job properly. So... Not great. Not great, to be honest. There must be something hidden up here, surely. Huh, maybe not. Oh, hang on. Yes, maybe so. Oh, just some skeletons. Random skeletons. Well, that's absolutely fine. Conjuration up to 54. Screw you. And dead. Now, oh no, there was an entire flipping... There was an entire big room up here I completely overlooked. Well, that's all right. Then I'll help myself to some... Ooh, malachite ore. The basis for, of course, yeah, making glass stuff. Very good. That's worth quite a bit, at least. I'll just happily grab some of that. And now when we go to... Oh! Yep, yeah, that's a Doom Arena. What are we looking at here? Big room. Something's in here. There's a big chest over there, which is, well, just a normal chest, really. And we've got a... Oh! Just a troll! Well, that's fine. Just we can put down that then. Lovely. Stormy, go take care of it for me, please. Thank you. Yeah, just zap him. And then we'll just knock him into a pillar and we'll just whack him with a thing because he's weak to fire, isn't it? Yeah, these guys are weak to fire. So by the time he gets up again, I think we'll probably pretty much have his number. Nice, he is very slow to get up too. Job done. Right, that's nice and easy. Lovely, trolls used to be terrifying. Now we can handle it. Now we've got this. <laughs> I've never played Skyrim like this before and it is now my new favourite way to play it. Always used to just go stealth archery. Now basically like healing, support and conjuration, being a basically white necromage. Oh yeah, I'm way more for this. You only face failure once more. Failure once more and another Doom Arena. The last Doom Arena basically had nothing in it but one basic troll, so ah! I see, more flipping skeletons. And, ooh, even more skeletons down there. Hang on, just uh, put a nice one of you... No, down, down. There we go, lovely. Put one of you down there. Benor. Benor, where's Benor? He better... Yep, he's run ahead. <laughs> Good old Benor. You can trust Benor to do the right thing. Hang on, I need to get my... Stormy, you're being too... I need to get my one hand up. Stop murdering everything before I can. Right, we've got some of those guys over there. Sent in his place. Uh, kind of. Possibly. It's a bit unclear. Oh, did I kill him or did he kill him? Okay, good. I killed him, not vice versa. <laughs> good. I could still believe if a troll got a lucky hit and I could just basically be one shot by a flipping troll. Uh, you guys over there, you are fine skeletons. Just do not have the strength for this. So, through the gateway we've opened is obviously the right way. But yeah, there's also something. If I just cross this bridge and go over... 
here. Presume it's the little side room. And no, actually. There's a bunch of stuff over here. Hello. What's this little... Oh, flip, I found a troll cavern. Right, never mind. At this point, I think the trolls are starting to get scared of me. I'm starting to feel sorry for them. Benor. Benor, get in here. Come on, Benor. Help us out with the troll, please. Help us out with the troll. There we go. Back over there, please. Benor. Benor, why are you not... Benor. I need you to get involved. Yeah, Gra, I'll get you. You're saying this, but I can't notice you're not actually helping. I think it's better you need to get involved, because, yeah, the troll can actually pretty much heal off what flipping Stormy is doing to it. So I need you to be involved with this one. Okay? Right, Benner, I'm really sorry about this, but it seems to be the only way to make you go down this corridor. There we go. That's got him into the room. <laughs> He's fine. It's under control. Right. One new Stormy thing. There we go. That's what... I basically just have to move around Ben or like that. Gorgeous. Lovely. Right, get around the back of him. Just basically get in some flame. Hit. Ben or's doing the same. Job done. Lovely. Well done. Oh, he's just flung himself over there. Marvellous. Skyrim physics. It's like normal physics, but not. This is just a bunch of extra... Actually, weirdly low-level stuff. I've seen multiple leather things in chests in this area, which is kind of odd, but never mind. Yeah, there was just a extra bonus chest up here, but the chest contained... Some really, really weirdly low-leveled bits of gear. Right, forward, and we've got... Ooh, wisps! Wisps! Wisps are brutal little bastards. Let's just toss in you to take care of... Actually, they're not enemies. Or at least they're not yet enemies. Hello! You're a wisp, aren't you? You're normally an enemy. You know, on this occasion, you're not. Okay, get the feeling they're about to become enemies, mind. Get the feeling they're going to, like, zip into the graves of something and wake everyone up. Yeah, this is too easy. This room has got too much dead stuff in it for them to not all wait. Are they already waking up? Okay, they're already waking up. It's fine. Oh, yeah, they've already woken up. It's fine. Run, 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 run. Get out of here. Oh, I'm being frozen. I'm being frozen so I can't get out of here. Okay, hang on. Need to heal. Need to just heal like crazy here while I'm trying to flee. Benor! Right, Stormy's up there fighting. Benor is presumably somewhere, right? Oh, yes, there's a wisp mother. Right, I ignored a wisp mother. That'd be why everyone's annoyed at me right now. So, let's just quickly get a new Stormy. Because I think the old Stormy wore off or died or something. Where's the bloody hell's Benor got himself to? Benor! If he's got himself... I bet he's stuck in the troll thing. Now that I, I full throw dart him into that place, I bet he to full throw dart him out of it. Is there just some mysterious reason the companions can't come through this particular... Yeah, there is. Companions literally can't come through this corridor. Okay, hang on. There we go. Okay, now that I've pushed him here, can he actually get back up here? Now I've basically put him into the steps. Benor? Benor? Yeah? No? Okay. Hang on, we need to go behind Benor. Okay, we need to we need to keep pushing him up the stairs. Sooner or later, we're going to be able to get this guy up the stairs. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think we've probably got him far enough there. Benor, are me and you good to, to follow now? Benor, come on, are we good? Hang on, put the weapons away, put the weapons away. Yep, now he's following. <laughs> Benor, you are ridiculous and I love you. wonder how the Wisp Mother's getting on, by the way, because I just kind of left Stormy with her. Right, any sign of... Re yep, still definitely there. In which case... Oh, several of them, several of them. Oh, no, shades. Shades, interesting. Okay, um... A shades? No, they're just fake ones. Okay, we need to figure out which one's the real one. I think we now know the real one. Can we actually do anything to you? Ooh, trying to do more shades, are ya? No, 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 no. Just get the shades down. Lovely. And then just keep with the shades. 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 Make sure Ben was focusing on the real one down there. And now Ben can focus on that. Can we actually fushu? Possibly, I don't know. I was a bit too late there. Good old glow dust and wisp wrappings. Good. Taking care of the wisp mother, so no more wisps in this area. For whatever reason, there were wisps in this area. Did he warn you that your real power would be your wrongdoing? That it would only serve to strengthen me? Makes sense, of course. We heard earlier that, yeah, the staff of Magnus can absorb huge amounts of magical power. Now, if this is a flaming door, logically, I need to use frostbite. Given the thing we saw earlier. Right, yeah. There we are. And there's a fire spirit there that's not thrilled with basically anything. Oh, excuse me. Go away. <laughs> Lovely. Stabby, stabby, stab. Also, I just noticed in that animation, I'm not wearing my headband anymore. 
Why am I not wearing my headband anymore? Please tell me that was not shouted off me or something. No, it just got... De oh, no, it's been de-equipped this whole time because I put the wooden mask on. Oh, uh, uh, good. Right, yeah, basically I've had, uh, this whole time I've had 70 less magic points than I could have had just because I didn't have that on, or rather I didn't put it back on afterwards. Oh, that's, that's just wonderful. Just another minute, please. Come on, we can't stop now. We have to keep moving. Where's Elvely? She was right behind me. Dead. Something grabbed her from behind. Gone before I could do anything. This is insanity. We never should have come here. You're right. This is all my fault. Should we turn around and head back? I don't think going back is a good idea. Going no. back would be the end of all of us. Do your we keep pushing forward and we'll make it. So actually, I was mistaken. The Argonian they had with them, Takes in Light, is in fact still alive and well. She actually made it that fast. That was just some other Argonian that got knifed in the back with a great sword previously. Fine. Okay, so if there's plot here, that means this is probably the right way. So in which case, yeah, what was down here? Another tier. Ah, just a couple of basic barrel urns. I will gladly help myself to potions and gold. Face your end. Oh, hello. Luckily, even though you are... Oh, you're really flimsy. I really hope that wasn't supposed to be my end, because, um... Didn't do very well at killing me, to be perfectly honest. Ooh. Drain Heart Sword. Absorbs 15 points of stamina. Only weighs three. Okay, come on, well, that's got a unique enchantment on that I can break down to learn if that's just, like, a unique thing for that weapon that I can't actually... Ooh. Open a trap door. Could open a trap... Okay, can't open notice. Bunch of red. Bunch of red on the map here. Ben, or do we want to... I don't think we want to drop down. There's a... Oh, there's just a guy with a bow down there. Fine, watch out for him. Actually, wait, hang on. Did he just shoot me and drain my magic? I think he did. I don't think I took health. I think I got hit and did uh, magic damage. Oh, that's interesting. Can these things even hurt me in that case? Yeah, just keep heading down. Heading towards presumably the area that I was going down to anyway. This thing's kind of been... Left half open. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, you actually... I'm not sure you even do damage to me. Oh, no, you definitely do damage to me. Never mind, never mind. I was wrong. So, quickly just finish these guys off. Ooh, you are a spectral white. And then you are just a basic skeleton. So, you're going to go down very quickly. Stormy on your pop. Right. Check all the spectral stuff. Because they've got interesting stuff on them. So, uh, yeah. Absorbs 50 points of magic. Oh, so it does damage and also magic damage. Fine, it does both. Uh, so, I may as well take it just to actually no that one's not so good to be honest i've already got a drain spell sword that one is yeah that one's a bow so i can't use that even if i wanted to so we just leave that to be according to the rules of the run also i just realized why am i actually bothering to carry around the pale blade because my new ebony mace does 46 damage plus an additional 15 for the um the extra damage so yeah uh, 61 total whereas the pale blade i'm carrying around is like an emergency last minute weapon does, yeah, 32 plus another 20, so that just does 52, but then also does the whole stamina damage thing, but that's not that great, and it weighs 15. Yeah, actually, Ben, or do you just want to take this, because it's actually terrible, and I've got actually no need for it whatsoever. Yeah, I've just been carrying this thing around as like an emergency go-to weapon, but it's actually worse than my basic weapon in terms of damage output, so that's odd. Also, don't use it. There we are, good, you said not Let's to use go. it. Also, for a guy who keeps saying, like, oh, come, face your doom, face your end, this guy is hiding a very long way down. Very, very long way down here. Though, do you like how this place is actually set up to be really difficult for a mage? Because, yeah, he can just basically drain your magic whenever he feels like it, which is actually uh, quite a good trick. Excuse me, you are a... Oh, ouch, you can do a lot of damage to me. Benor, up to you for a second. Thank you. Lovely. Just distract him if you can. He's looking flimsy and on the ground. I'll finish him off. Lovely. One more over there. And you are... Oh, yeah. You guys are weirdly a lot less tough than just normal guys, which is kind of weird. Uh, spectral... Sorry. Well, drain blood, technically. Battle axe. Ooh. Absorbs 15 points of health. Albeit, it doesn't actually do that much damage. Uh, yeah. Can I actually de-enchant those down the line? I can't remember. Um, actually, it probably doesn't weigh that much. No. I'm going to take that. Just in the off chance, I can learn the enchantment down the line, but I can't remember whether you're actually able to break down the drain heart weapons or not. I don't think you are. Fine. And then, 
He said, Jill, come face me, come face your doom. He's literally in a different load zone to the one we're currently in. I want to face you. Face me, you bloody coward. Here we are. The Tribune of Labyrinthium. Ooh, nice. More books just gifted to us. Steadfast Ward. I can't remember if I actually know that one yet. I may or may not do. No, I did not know that one. Lovely, though. Steadfast. I can't remember whether that's a uh, level 2 or level 3 ward spell. In either case, I should be able to use it because, yeah, I've taken the uh, apprentice. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, never mind. Be a bit more careful. So hang on, what is that up ahead that just did... Ah! It's just one of those little trappy things. Right, gotta watch out for them. Uh, mainly because, yeah, I can't use a bow. So... Benor, would you like to go ahead and trigger that potentially? Actually, no, can I actually use an Atronach to tank that for me? There we go. Yep, I think that actually worked. Let's just go for the Frost Atronach on this occasion. And yeah, you just basically... You just go through there and just tank whatever's going on, all right? Lovely. I think it's just going to keep firing, isn't it? Yeah, somebody's just going to keep firing forever. Uh, this is this is a little bit on the concerning side. Ben, okay, everyone go ahead and just tank for me, okay? And then, okay, good. They fell off. The uh, the soul gems fell off. That that works for me. Excellent. And these are all by the looks. Yep. 150 value means they are actually still fully charged. That's a bunch of good quality uh, common soul gems already filled up. Ouch! Stop that, you. Right, got more spectral things coming in. Got Ben all right here, though. Oh, yeah, we've got a bunch of people with projectiles. Just... Hang on. Okay, don't fall down the massive pit. And if there is, like, a, a nice relaxing way down... That's the way I came in. Okay, don't go down there. Get around here... Ben or Ben, have you got this? I feel like Ben has got this already. It's just damn it, I can't use my magic because you just use the stupid thing to get rid of my magic. I don't like you. Right, just help Ben or take out this guy because he's a little bit on the tanky side. He should be more or less fine. Lovely. What else have we got left at this point? No, I think we're good. Might be a bit more loose downstairs. We just got to keep going down. Maybe no. Nothing else here. So where's the rest of you guys? I've just realised that might be why the game gave me the steadfast ward. For the fact the next room is going to throw magic at me. Yeah, that would have been clever. One little side room first, though. Couple of potent potions. Uh, an ancient helm of the unburned. Okay. And a honed ancient Nord sword of scorching. That's not worth taking, however. You're just sitting on an ebony shield. Ooh, ebony shield. Ebony shield, but wait for... No, no, I'm not using a shield. Ben doesn't use a shield. Leave the shield. Actually, wait, hang on. How much was it actually worth? Can I just sell it? It's 14 to 750. No, I think I'd actually have to drop other stuff. I'll just leave it. It's fine. Thanks to the fact that I can just basically enchant jewellery. I've got plenty of money. Money is not a problem here. Once more, my magic just drops to zero for a second. Bloody annoyingly. And then we've got ourselves... Ah! This feels like a dangerous sort of place. Yep, feels like we're getting very close to the end here. Oh, no, just bats. Never mind, everything's fine. One guy hiding behind a throne and... A oh, you just did the flipping thing, you bastard. Right, um, do I have any backup weapons? I've got a bound sword, I suppose. Hang on, bound sword. Wait, spectral. Does spectral count as summoned? Uh, no, but it does have a soul, interestingly. Now, okay, can't lose this. Um, there we are. Got my ebony mace back. Lovely. You are... Ooh, a death lord. Ooh, large flipping dar. Okay, just... No, 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 no. Jump, jump. Don't get stuck in a corner with a death lord. I feel like the death lord's potentially got me. Benor is in control for the time being. Yeah, just basically keep going for that guy for a bit. And given enough time, we'll be able to handle this. Oh, sorry, Ben. I'm not trying to steal your soul. I promise I'm not going for your soul. Okay, now we just keep going for you. If we just well in from all sides, we'll get this eventually. And soon, 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 soul for me. Lovely. One hand, it goes up to 74. Wow, that's getting somewhere. And yeah, we get a word of power over here. No idea what this is going to be at all. The word of power is... Ooh, slow time. Ooh, I definitely, definitely would like to know that. And I definitely saw a... In the back here. Yep. Saw a chest around here. Lovely. Potion of illusion. Potion of stamina. A bit of gold. Nothing major. But yes, yeah, slow time. 
Ooh, I could go for some slow time. That seems really flipping useful, actually. Yes, hang on. So, shout at time, command it to obey as the world around you stands still. Oh, literally still. Oh, I'm having this. I'm totally having this. Yes, uh, unlock that. Lovely. Favorite that. We will use that at some point. That seems really good. Also, don't forget, I now need to reset the Ebony Mace as a favorite because it dropped out of inventory, so therefore it didn't actually count as one anymore for a second. There we go. Lovely. And once more, my magic gets drained just before a major fight because screw it, this place is actually well set up to basically screw over majors. You're all coming at me in a straight line, aren't you? There we go. That's not my Frost Atronach, is it? I feel like that's not my Frost Atronach anymore. Okay. That's fine. If it's not my Frost Atronach, I've got my own flipping Storm Atronach, which is like a Frost Atronach, but no, I accidentally just cast a Frost Atronach. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, this is this is going well. Right, Frost Atronach versus Frost Atronach. Which one's mine? One of these is mine. I just need to... Where's Benor? Where the bloody hell's Benor got himself to? I need to finish off this guy. Then I need to start running, potentially. I think Benor's over there, dealing with the guys in the corridor. Right, I need to take out this Frost Atronach, because you are not my Frost Atronach. Damn it. Okay, go, go, go. Start running, start running, start running. Block, block for me. Don't actually block me. Ouch, I'm being attacked. Right, right, not dead yet. Not dead yet. All right, actually, wait, no. I've got this fast healing spell. I should use that and go. Oh, that's quite fast. And I've healed. Oh, that's still not mine. Okay, hang on. There's Yeah, there's problems here. Um, Where's Benor? Where's everyone who's... Wait, where the bloody hell's my team? Where's... Okay, that's worn off. Good. Benor's somewhere. Just bloody know where. Right. Get some light going on here. Get a Stormy in. Get my flipping Ebony Mace out. Where the bloody hell is Benno? Oh, he's taking on that guy, I think. I think there's a fight going on over here. Lovely. I think Benno's been... No? Wait. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, it was. It's just I think um, the Scourge was doing quite well. There we are. So he ceased to exist. Are we good now? There's another... Wait, what? Benno? Benno? Hang on. Benno? What are we doing? What are we... Why are we... Benor, why would we be going for that thing when that thing is our friend? Benor, hang on, if I cast another one, get rid of that one. Was that one converted to work against me or something? Also, oh, Benor's lost his axe and he's gone over to the... Gla okay, oh, thank goodness, it was a nice convenient location. <laughs> Otherwise, that could have been a problem. I don't need to take anything, Ben, or we need to sit down and have a chat about why you are attacking Stormageddon when you are supposed to be friends, okay? My conjuration just went up for no well-explained reason. A couple of ebony ingots here I don't need for anything, and that's- Oh! I think that's because, yeah, a thing I'd already summoned when I wasn't seen, then went on to be seen. We have left her there to die. What else could we do? Stay there and die with her? She refused to go on. We didn't have a choice. This is it, you know. Through this door. Can you feel it? We're not going to make it, are we? We stay together. No matter what. Agreed? I'll be right with you. Agreed. We all stay together. I get the feeling Savos didn't honor his words then. Still, we're finally here. Open the iron door and ooh. Yes, I, I kind of half remember this. Half remember this, and yeah, Savos did something bad here. I'm not sure exactly what, but there's two people over there doing a wibbly thing to keep what I'm guessing is Magnus contained forever. I'm guessing it was Savos that did it. Let's see what we got going on here then. So yeah, there's Magnus trapped with his staff forever. And there's two. Ah! So these guys return to Spectrals to live forever just so that, yeah, they could basically just keep him trapped forever, giving Savos a chance to escape, I'm guessing. And if we- oh! Okay, he's he's decided to turn on me, has he? Okay, hang on, excuse me! Excuse me! No, bad enthralled wizard! Right, ghostly remains, search them nice and quick. So yeah, we need to take out both of these guys, because until they're dead, we can't get at Magnus, gotcha. I feel a bit bad, because these are clearly Savos' old friends, but uh, never mind, they were- enthralled, which means they can't do stuff, I guess. Right, sadly, I don't think I can sneak up on this guy. Oh, no, yes, I can. Sneak attack. Now, Magnus is now free, which is probably a concern because he's Magnus. And he's got the staff of Magnus. But he's not actually attacking me. 
which is of interest. All right, Ben, are we up for this? Oh, 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 yeah, now he's moving. Now he's moving. Magnus. Okay, Ben, or um, this one's kind of up to, like, you know, you, as usual, right? Go. Put a Storm Action Rack up there. Ben, or... And you are called Morakay, but you just hold the Staff of Magnus for whatever reason. Right, now we've got... Okay, lovely. So, he's got a big zappy spell, and he's presumably got a lot of health. Uh, how are we doing? Benor, okay, I need to support Benor as well as I can. I need to get a rally on Benor immediately. Uh, so, yeah, Benor's going to need a rally on him. There we are. So, Benor's rallied. Now, I just need to keep an eye on Benor's health. Because Benor, hopefully, can do this by himself here. If I can just stay out of it. That staff is vicious, I'm going to just assume. I just need to keep hitting him with, yeah, hit him with marks for death. Keep Benor healed up as well as I can. Keep the, uh, keep Stormy in play and keep healing Benor. So, Benor, there we are. So, just keep Benor being healed up. My Stormy just basically hangs around here and hits him with lightning. Actually, I need Stormy to get closer. So, we're going to spend a fair bit of magic just to recast Stormy closer to this guy so he can use all his abilities. So, Stormy goes up here. Lovely. I'm going to go back over to... I'll stick with Healing Hands for now just because it seems like he's not doing much damage to to Benor. How's Benor? Yeah, Benor's doing well, actually. Benor seems to be actually capable of winning this fight one-on-one. -on -one. I think possibly because the Staff of Magnus, well, we were told, absorbs magic. Benor doesn't care about magic. That's not his thing. So, in many ways, I feel like, actually, if Benor can just get this guy in a corner, we're in good shape, actually. Yeah, okay, wait. Benor is... Benor's fleeing. Can you make a... Possibly he was just hit with fear for a second there. But yeah, Morake is actually going down pretty quickly here. All of my stuff seems to be working quite nicely. Benor. Benor, just keep on supporting him there. Lovely. And... And hopefully we just got marked for death on him as well. Right, so he's now just running away. Benor's now trying to catch up. Lovely. Where's he got himself to? He's just over there. Benor's coming to hunt him down. Yeah, Benor's well up for this. Right, keep that rally on Benor. Keep Benor healed up here. Oh, you're coming over here to me. Do you want to be over here with me? Well, that's fine. <laughs> Be over here with me. I'll get a few hits on you. Why not? Always we're literally passing by. There we go. I'm guessing you're more dangerous to me than um, you are to Benor. Yeah, Benor doesn't care about your magic draining or whatever. Benor's cool. Yeah, he's now two thirds dead. I was expecting this to be a ridiculously difficult fight, but uh, Benor seems to be basically under control here. Benor's got this, damn it. There we are. Get another marked for death on Morake, but at this point, yeah, seems to be good. Right, get around the back of him. And now we've got ourselves... Oh, has he got a little um, frost thing around him? Where, yeah, if you're close to him, you take damage over time. Doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. And then just a little bit more. Just keep Benor alive. And now, probably, let's get the final shots in myself here. Boom! Dead. Surprisingly simple, actually. Was really expecting a much tougher fight there. So, have a little Luke C in the ash pile here. And we have got ourselves, well... So it's 250 gold. I think that's all we need. This is the big one. A mask. Magical regenerates 100% faster. Time between chapters is reduced 20%. That's actually not what I remembered that doing, but uh, I'll take it. I will gladly, gladly take that. Yeah, magic regenerates 100% faster. Oh, yeah. And that replaces... Yeah, that fills the same slot as you would normally have your, um... The little tiara circlet, whatever. So, yeah, right now I've got plus 70 magic on there. But, yeah, I'll take shouts down and 100% faster magic regeneration every day of the week. More importantly, Staff of Magnus absorbs 20 magicka per second. Target of magicka absorbs health instead. Probably useful, I don't know. Honestly, I don't actually see myself using that that much. So, yeah, let's actually slip that on right now. I totally want to have that little mask there. So, that actually... Actually, it's not so bad on the arm. Well, plus seven, which in all fairness is basically insignificant. So, I can't have the major circlet anymore. But I am still allowed to have a... Am I still allowed to have a necklace? Or does that replace the necklace too? And if I put on the necklace, does that take that off? No, I am still allowed to have a necklace. Fine. So, I could still have... Your amulet is plus 50... So the amulet's currently at plus 50. The ring of recharging is... Actually, that's now Magicka 40%. Like, at that point, I should probably actually start thinking about getting rid of that. Because 40% magic regeneration. Now I'd probably rather have something else, quite frankly. Because, yeah, my robes have got the... 
Yeah, the rogues are 100% fast regeneration. The mass 100% again. The ring's adding only 40% more on because it, um, it adds rather than multiplies. So now let's just very quickly just check what that now looks like. So if I just spend some magic doing this. And that is... Oh, yeah. That... That I can deal with. That I can very much deal with. Oh, yes. How do I get out of here now? I'm not sure I actually get out of here. There must be a Skyrim door somewhere, damn it. Probably up top. Hang on, head up top. That's got to be the right way to go. Yes, indeed. Nice thing out the back way here. Search chest as well. Anything good? No, weirdly low-level stuff for the most part. Uh, detect life. If I wanted to learn that, fine. Detect living creatures. I'm guessing one more thing to do yet. We have to figure out what Savos actually did. Sorry, friends. I'm so sorry. I had no choice. It was the only way to make sure that monster never escaped. I promise you, I'll never let this happen again. I'll seal this whole place away. And there we are. Savos did indeed seal the place away until I came to claim the Staff of Magnus when it became necessary. And there we are with my lovely new mask. Oh, this. This is going to make all the difference in the world. <laughs> One, I look really, really damn creepy now, which is a shame, but on the plus side, you know, it makes me look nice and spooky, which is good. Looking spooky is good. Put a bit of fear into my enemies. I would say, ladies and gentlemen, with the Staff of Magnus in hand, that is enough for now. Next time, we are taking this thing back to the college, and indeed seeing if we can settle up once and for all, because I believe now we should be able to actually settle up the college pretty quickly, and then we will get ourselves some very, very good rewards indeed. And once that is done, well, on to some new exciting stuff nearby, because yeah... I've seen a bunch of interesting stuff near the college. I would like to go and have a Luxia. So, that's to come soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learned a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.